Hey Rollerbitters, welcome back. So over the last few months, I've been able to skate all kinds of different skates, including some aggressive and some that are not aggressive, like the Impalas and the FRX 310s. But today we're gonna to talk about the seven aggressive skate models that I've been able to skate over the last few months and which ones I think are the best. And I'll just kind of chronologically go through these skates in the order in which I skated them. So I started off with the Razor's Cult, and I skated the Razor's Cult in two different sizes, both in 8-9 shell and a 10-11 shell. I found that when I put the thinner MyFit second skin liner in the, in the boot, I was able to downsize a shell size, which to me was great. It was kind of tighter, better fitting, uh, just felt lighter. It's just felt like it performed better. So what did I like about the cults? Well, a few things. I like the cults a lot, actually. We won't get into the politics surrounding the kind of Razor's brand right now. That's for a different video. But what did I like about the skates? Well, I think they have great flex. The sole plates themselves slide really fast. The backslide groove has a great angle and it feels really good. And it doesn't hurt that they're at a really competitive price point um, for both beginners and advanced skaters alike. Some of the things I don't really like about the Razors is that Razors is not known to have really good stock liners. So if you're gonna buy Colts, you should probably plan on replacing the liners at some point, or maybe you'll like them, who knows. The sole plates, both the negatives and the positives are pretty small. Um, so especially after skating them over time, they can start to round off and make it a little bit harder to get those like top sides on ledges and stuff like that. I also kind of wish that they had some level of shock absorption built in or that came from razors. Okay, so after that I bought some Nick Lomax Pro Aeon 60s from Carrier Skate Shop. Shout out Carriers, check them out down in the description below. And this was the first time I ever owned a pair, of, owned or skated a pair of Aeons. And the first thing I noticed, and, I, and I'll just get into the good parts, is that I think everyone kind of realizes that they're extremely light skates. And so the first time I put them on, the first time I picked them up, you know, because of their unibody construction, I think is what they call it, where the boot, sole plate, and frame are all molded out of one piece of the same plastic. It's all one piece. They're extremely light, which is great. And they have a very low like center of gravity too, so they feel very stable and I think because of that unibody construction they translate power to the ground really really well so the skates are very light and they feel very fast the flex is really good um, I was really impressed by that and they were super comfortable they fit great and the liners that come with them the my fit second skins were fantastic liners I really liked them on the first session but over time I started to find things that I wasn't super happy with like I started getting quite a bit of wheel bite over time, um, which I ended up swapping the wheels out for some uh, Richie Eisler Looney Zoom wheels, which have a more bullet profile, which kind of alleviated a lot of that wheel bite, but I still found myself getting some wheel bite every now and then. I wasn't a big fan of the kind of shallow H block. There was a number of times where I was doing either a switch up or spinning out of a grind where it felt like the rail or whatever slipped right out of the H block. Um, so it's a little bit shallow and I think you could probably fix that with grooving it in more but that's just something I noticed. And then like the big ticket item I think is that out of the box, they, the sole plates slide really well, but over time they start sliding noticeably slower. Um, you can kind of alleviate this a little bit with just layering on more and more wax, but it starts to get kind of annoying. And that's one big thing. There are remedies to this like slicks and I think there's some other 3D printed kind of um, things that can help out, but that's just my impression of the skate after skating it. After that, I bought some $125 Anarchy Revolution 2s. I don't think they're $125 anymore, but at the time they were. And I bought these really specifically just to make a video out of, if I'm being honest. What I kind of liked about the skates, and I have to kind of relate this all to price because they are an absolutely like a very budget skate. But what I liked about the skates was that the sole plates actually slide really well. The frame, they, you come flat, they come flat rockered on the frames. And I actually didn't get much, if any, wheel bite. I talk about all this um, in the video, which again, I'll link to all these videos in the description below if you wanna go watch these uh, reviews firsthand. But I found that I didn't get a lot of wheel bite at all, which was really surprising and really cool. The support and flex on the skates was actually surprisingly good. Um, they weren't the most comfortable skates that I've ever skated, but considering they're 125 bucks shipped, they actually weren't too bad. I have pretty flat feet, so I had to swap out the insoles, but outside of that, they, they felt pretty good. So they did seem to roll pretty darn slow, and I think as I skated more, the bearings sort of like started to loosen up, but they still felt pretty slow, honestly. It felt like I was kind of chugging around the skate park, hard to really carry a lot of speed. And I think the biggest thing about these skates for sure was that they are really heavy, really, really heavy. So um, otherwise they perform pretty well, but they're heavy, they're a little bit slow, 
and you know they felt they just felt big on my feet i ordered them true to size um but just skating them around they felt large on my feet so for a beginner skate i thought they were great but that's my impressions on those after that my buddy omar here locally let me borrow his eugen nn usd shadows and so I gave those a spin. What I really liked about the skates was the Kaiser Fluid 5s that come on the skates and they come flat, you know, with eight wheels. Um, you know, there was almost zero wheel bite at all. Um, they, the frames, absolutely loved them. Felt really, really good. The sole plates slide are huge and slide super fast. The negatives are huge. I thought those were fantastic. The liners, the, the walkable liners that come with the USD shadows were super comfortable. I love the big fat PU tongue that they have on that liner. And it's really obvious there's a lot of attention to detail and a lot of like quality touches on the skate. You can tell they took their time and took a lot of thought and effort, put a lot of thought and effort into the skate and it really shows. The only thing that I didn't really like about the skate is that it wasn't, to me, these weren't one of those skates that you could just put on and set and forget. To me, these take a little bit more learning to sort of relearn sort of the angle of boot down like royales and farbs and torques and backslides. Um, it really, to me at least, has a pretty unique feel on those like groove tricks. So that took some time to really learn. Um, and the angle at which you need to go boot down, I think partly because of the, the pretty tall H block with the um, with the Kaiser Fluid 5s, requires you to get pretty pretty far down to get boot down, which is cool. And it, and it feels good when you actually, when you actually like lace it. So after that, I ordered some AG20s from the brand Icon, which are an all plastic boot. They come boot only, no frames or wheels or anything. I think they're about 440 bucks. So they're on, they're definitely more on the expensive side, but they have really nice MyFit Prime liners and lots of quality materials used throughout. Unfortunately, my foot size is a 275 Mondo or 27.5 centimeters long. And unfortunately, this fell between sizes on their sizing chart between like the 8, 9, and I think the 10, 11 size boots. So what I ended up doing was ordering in a smaller skate, the smaller boot in 8, 9, and with a lar larger liner, the 10, 11 liner, together from Icon, and they were nice enough to, to put that together for me. Well, unfortunately, the skates were entirely too small. I tried everything I could think of to try to either stretch them out or, or you know, prop up my heel or whatever that would alleviate some of the, like the toe pain of hitting the front of the toe box, but nothing, nothing really worked. I was still able to skate the skates, even despite my, my big toe being really angry with me. And as far as performance, they performed really well. This, the sole plates slide really fast. The skate has great flex. There was a little bit of supination in terms of like kind of having your feet bow out. Um, but I think part of that was because I didn't lace them up tightly and all the way up like I probably should have done. But the skates felt great, except obviously for my big toe smashing the front of the toe box. But for what it's worth, I didn't have any other hot spots or pain points aside from that, just on landings when my toe would hit the front. So all things considered, I really did like the AG20s and I really like the way they look too. After that, I borrowed my buddy Sam Brownlee's uh, Chris Farmer USD Sway skates uh, for kind of a funny video, which again, you can check out down in the description where I spent a day trying to be Chris Farmer. And basically all I did was go around and try to find some of the biggest stair rails and kink trails in San Antonio here and go do them. So my experience with USD Sways is limited to this one day. This was the first time I put them on and so far been the last time I've put them on. So take that for what you will. The only experience I really have with USD Sways is on relatively large stair, stair rails. So for what it's worth, I, just, I thought the skates were really comfortable and they felt very natural. Um, they felt like, you know, a very well-rounded skate. Even though I wasn't able to skate a wide variety of different things, just rolling around and feeling out the skates, they felt like a very solid, well-rounded skate that I could tell. Good flex, good support, um, good comfort. My, I have pretty low arches, um, so I got some blisters on my arches, but I think you know that could be solved with a different footbed. So for what it's worth, I thought the Sways were great. It doesn't hurt that they have a really competitive like entry price for Sways. I understand that they're some of the most affordable you know, quality aggressive skates that you can buy. So kudos to Sways. I wore them for one day and was able to go do some cool rails. And so I thought they were great. And then last but not least, I did, or I skated the AG10s, which are the full carbon fiber version of the AG20 that I skated before. So because they're carbon fiber, they're quite a bit more expensive. I think they're 650 plus dollars boot only. Brian Ferry was nice enough to lend me his AG10s to unbox and skate. And this time they fortunately were in my size. So that was great. So the things that I didn't really like about the AG10s are mostly aesthetic. 
I didn't really like that when you really cranked down the power straps on the 45 degree strap or the upper Velcro strap, that there was a significant amount of like uh, Velcro strap kind of dangling in excess, an excess dangling strap, whatever. On the bottom of the sole plate, there's some holes, some mounting holes that aren't being used, which for, you know, some people would say for $650 boot only skates, you probably shouldn't have unused holes in your sole plates. And it's pretty nitpicky, but I kind of like waxed laces and a lot of skates are coming with waxed laces now. These don't have it. I feel like they add a little bit of extra security, but they do add time to put on and take off your skates too. So it's definitely a trade-off. As far as what I liked about the skates, I honestly thought they were fantastic. I thought I had as much support, flex, comfort. They felt so comfortable. Um, and honestly, they were fantastic. It's a little bit tough to, for me to justify, you know, 600 plus dollar boot only skates right now. And I think that's the biggest thing is these skates, these boots aren't for everyone at this price point. But for those who are willing to spend the extra dollar, I think they're fantastic skates for the for the value. So that was a quick rundown on the seven aggressive skates that have skated over the last few months. Which ones did I think are the best? Drum roll, please. I definitely thought the Icon AG10s were the best skates that I skated. I was really sad when I had to, had to send them back and I'm trying to figure out ways to raise money and uh, buy another pair because I honestly thought they felt the most natural. And I mentioned this in the review video is that they're the probably the only skates that I put on that I honestly felt like I had been skating those skates for the last five years. It felt so natural. There was no like break in period. There was no like getting to know period. I was jumping on just about every trick and I did some tricks I've never done that day. So the AG 10s, in my opinion, best skates that I've skated probably ever, especially within the last several months, 100%. So I'm gonna try to figure out how I can afford another pair or not another pair, but how I can afford a pair and hopefully get another pair to skate here on the channel. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what skate is your favorite skate, what you think is the best skate down in the comments below. If you did like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you do like the content here. And with that, Roller Booters, we'll see you on the next video. Take care. Which one of these videos looks more interesting to you? This one or this one? Click one to support the channel and to support rollerblading, and I'll see you there.